I think I'm gonna start a new series, call it Canoes and Cameras. And I'm just gonna talk about cameras and canoes. Today is a canoe vlog. I've deemed that to be a thing and it's gonna just be the thing because it's a canoe vlog. I got the boat loaded up and we're gonna head out. It's like the middle of winter right now, but it's still pretty warm out. Uh, it was raining yesterday, almost 40 in Duluth. So we're gonna go find some open water. I've got a couple spots to check out first, uh, but I think we'll be able to find some. And then, oh, really? I should grab it. Really what I wanna check out is, this is a DJI uh, Osmo Action. Um, action camera, kinda, you know, I wanna call it a knockoff GoPro, but it's knockoff GoPro. And I'm wondering, with this little wind slayer thing on there, if this could work for a always connected to the canoe, always ready to record uh, camera. So if I'm tripping, if I'm on a longer kind of adventure, whatever, I can just leave this on and always have it ready to go. Usually when I'm uh, canoeing and I'm tripping and I'm doing... Um, you know going somewhere I have a place in mind I whatever camera real camera I'm using I generally keep that tucked away until I'm ready to record something so uh, just in case something happens I tip whatever this is I don't want to say it's replaceable but it's easily replaceable and this is waterproof so I'm wondering if this like wind slayer thing will work well enough to keep the audio decent I don't need to be perfect but I just want it not the whole time so I do have a neutral density filter on there, so uh, to get that like cinematic one fiftieth of a second uh, shutter speed and the windjammer. So I don't know if this is gonna work at all. So that's what today is, and it's a nice day. So I'm gonna get my first paddle of the year in, maybe, hopefully. Okay, ended up going to Cloquet River. Weird. Been here before, not this spot though. Different landing. Uh, it's like super calm out here, but I gotta break some ice. I think I might actually go right down there and put in. So I am gonna switch to the GoPro. No, keep calling the GoPro. The DJ Osmo Action. And uh, see how it goes. Hopefully it's usable. If not, I'll just uh, put music over it, I guess. We'll find out. Okay, I think we're recording. So I've got the little wind jammer thing on there. It's not a super windy day out, so I don't know. Maybe it sucks. <laughs> My uh, ND filter setup kind of blocks the front screen, so I just kind of know where I'm Hello, looking at. Um, yeah, anyway, let's see how this goes. Hey guys, quick editor's note here. That's me. I'm the editor. Uh, so I did the ultimate rookie move and I thought I was recording when I wasn't. So basically the whole sequence of me going from the car to the river with the GoPro and then paddling probably half a mile down river didn't get recorded at all. When we pick back up, I'll be back on a uh, fork, I guess you could say, of the Cloquet River and I'll be in the water and I got out to turn the GoPro around. I said it again, GoPro, Osmo, whatever. To face the other direction to go out, back out where I came from. So. Again, 
apologize. Sloppy work on my part. I want to blame the Osmo, but it's totally my fault. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know what's about to happen. Thanks. All right, so I got this thing facing front ways now and we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna pedal back up and I guess go back upstream. I'm not sure if I was going upstream or downstream because over there, I don't know, I'm not a river guy. Big rocks. I'm back on the A7C. Um, this footage probably looks a little different than my normal footage. I normally have an ND filter on this camera and that ND filter is currently on the DJI Osmo. Because I only have one so I use a step up ring and I just will have to buy two. Uh, after I got out back there, I hope, I hope some of that footage turned out, but after I got out back there, I looked in the back, I looked in the boat and I'm like, where's my backpack? My backpack has the A7C, uh, some coffee, some other, you know, life-saving stuff. So I'm like, oh God, I gotta paddle back quick. I left it landing, oh my gosh. It is on my back the whole time. I don't mind shooting stop down for these videos at all, because I'm not looking to blow the background out of focus. A lot of times I'm trying to show off as much as I can, but. My sensor is kind of dusty, so I'm looking for a place to pull over and make a cup of coffee. I brought my jet boil and some freshly ground caribou coffee. You know, the good stuff. I think I'm going to start a new series, call it Canoes and Cameras. And I'm just going to talk about cameras and canoes wherever I go paddling. Uh, at least until I can start doing some trips again. I mean, it's... January 16th right now and granted the only reason I'm able to paddle is because it's been really warm but here I am and I'm gonna keep doing it as long as it doesn't get really cold and it might because it's Minnesota and I'm kind of shocked that it's not it's kind of sad actually I, I love winter but you know this isn't necessarily paddling weather but I mean it's wide open on the Cloquet River Lake Superior is wide open, so it was a little windy today on Lake Superior. That was my first choice, but this is super calm here. So I'm um, going underneath the train bridge again, coming back down. See, and now the river is kind of going this way, the flow. So I don't know. I'm not experienced enough river paddler or I guess paddler in general to uh, know what I'm doing. So you're just along for the ride, YouTube. So I think my verdict, well without seeing the footage, my verdict on the DJI Osmo as a canoeing camera, definitely want to keep using it. I need a mount right here 
that it can reach or I at least need to set up the um, voice command so I can, you know, yell at it and say, Osmo, start recording or whatever. I'm sure, I think I only had half hour on the card and it's been rolling the whole time, so I don't even know if it's recording right now. Obviously, I prefer the image quality of a full frame camera, but there are just some situations where I don't want to put the full frame camera in that position, like getting in and out of the boat, loading the boat, portaging the boat. Done it, but I don't like it. All right, back at the landing. This is where I like to have the GoPro, did it again, where I like to have the DJ Osmo whatever point it back at me. The reason I keep saying GoPro is because I'd like to get a GoPro Hero 9. Um, but I had the Osmo. It's still fine. Anyway. Time to get out. Just caribou coffee by whole bean. Yeah. Smells good. Cheers. Mm, not bad. Usually try to get the perfect ratio, beans, water, temperature, so camp coffee's a little different though. I think I'm gonna pack up my mess here and bring the canoe up to the car. This is where I would love to use the Osmo to get some B-roll shots of me doing the load up of the canoe, but whatever. Next time, right? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. It's another Max Caven uh, canoeing video with no point. I just love canoeing. I love making videos. So, like I said, I'm probably gonna call this canoes and coffee or canoes and camera. Maybe canoes, coffee, and cameras. That's too much, I think. Right? Anyway, uh, I hit 100 subscribers <laughs> last, after my last video. So thanks to everyone who subscribed so far. Uh, I love feedback. I love you guys making fun of me, lighting me up in the comments. So uh, I'm here for it. But uh, till next time, guys. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. My uh, man boob. Really want what I. Blah, blah, blah. Not.